Today on the Hero Nation Show, we're going to be talking about delegation. What does it take to have effective delegation? Are you overworking your employees or are you just lazy? Let's talk about it today on the Hero Nation Show. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Hero Nation Show, the place where business owners and entrepreneurs just like you come to learn tools and tactics to live more epic lives. I'm your host, John Reinhardt, and today, right across from me, is the one, the only, my best friend in the whole wide world. <laughs> I'm still not Wayne paying you. Summons. I'm still not paying you to say that. Damn it. I know. We'll get All there. All right. So today, we're going to be talking about delegation. What does it look like? How do we do it? How do we do it effectively? Um... That I wish somebody would have taught me this 20 years ago, right? Uh, here's how I used to delegate. It was like hot potato. I was like, I don't want to do this. And I would chuck that thing across the room and hope somebody picked it up. And it did not work. Yeah, it was terrible. And I, I think that we've both seen that, right? One of the reasons why businesses struggle or people struggle to be great at leadership is because they suck at delegation. They don't have a uh, actual process. I didn't know. I didn't even know there was a process to delegation. I just thought if I need something done, I told you to get it done, and that was delegation. Yep. Well, I think and I think part of that comes into: um, Are you doing what you're supposed to be doing first? Yes. Okay. So before we even talk about delegation, walk us through the brick. Oh, so. This is just a, a really simple way of thinking about delega delegation, and uh, we don't have uh, bricks here in, in the studio, but I do have a bunch of, of books. Um, you know, let's see what do we got. We got the Prosperous Coach, Multiplier, Small Business Hacks, uh, The Art of Getting Back Up by Wayne Salmon. That one is the best. Um, should buy that know, right now. Fierce Conversations. We got a couple here. Um, so the idea is that you know when you start a business, it's like picking up one brick. Right, and this is like one of your must dos. Yeah. Right. Not a should do, not a could do. This is a must do. Um, and you pick it up, and then as business starts growing, you pick up another brick. Right. So you're like lead generation. Oh, now I need systems. That's right. Okay. Um, and then maybe HR hiring practices. Yes. How, how do I bring people on? Or or like what's my? I need to take care of the money, the budget, whatever it is. Okay. Now yeah. I got to pick that one up. Okay. You know. Now I have. Um, Marketing. Oh, snap. That's a whole book in and of itself. Okay. Um, well, now, now these books are kind of getting a little bit heavy. Now we're going to add one more book on top. I need to hire somebody. Oh, crap. Okay. Now, all of a sudden, we ha you're sitting there, and maybe like you're all the way up to your chin in, in things that you need to be doing. And at this point, you have a bunch of must-dos. You have too many must-dos right. that you can do. And some of these you cannot do effectively. Correct. So... Instead of dropping all the bricks, you turn around. I'm going to hand off hand the off marketing one, book to somebody. And you're like, would you please do this for me? Okay. Now, here's uh, here's the deal. You're still holding on to your books. Um, and then you get I, another you, one. Yep. Come on. Uh, let's, let's get some more books in here. Um, and let's say we're turning around. Got some. Oh, we got, we got <laughs> even more books. And you pick up another one. And you're like, you know, you're getting stronger. Maybe this is something that you can handle or maybe it's something that only you right. can do. You're like, oh, I'm, I'm still doing good. I'm doing good. And they're like, you know what? I, I actually have just a f I have too many of these must do's that I should do. You know what? Um, I'm going to train someone. I'm going to hand off HR <laughs> or systems building. I'm going to hand off. Well, let's say that this is systems building. Right. I'm going to hand this off. I already know how to do it. Here's the key. You cannot... You cannot leverage and delegate what you don't understand. Right. So if you understand it first, then you can delegate it. If you don't, you can't do it. So we turn around and hand that off. And pretty soon, right, Wayne's over there. Woo, Tom McCabot's. <laughs> All right. We're both sitting here, and we have a ton of books. And maybe you're like, you know what? I have too many books. I need to hand one off. I can't take any of them. I can't take any more. So I've got to take it. Oh, look, I think you're going to get rid of this marketing and give that to somebody. Okay. And this is how the process kind of works. It's I still have to hold on to my books, my right. things. I still have to do the work that I need to do. Um, and yet I can then hand off the pieces that I understand mm -hmm. that I can teach and train someone effectively in. Right. Right. Um, and be able to do it. 
Now, the, the, one of the keys to this um, is two things. Number one, you don't hand off anything to someone who, um, who either you don't have time to train right. or it's this, this not inside their wheelhouse. You delegate responsibility by job title. Yeah. Sometimes like we don't respect the job titles that we give people. Yep. Um, I was reading in this really interesting book, uh, getting things done, you know, the art of like stress, uh, stress free, uh, like living. Um, you know, he was actually talking about like one of the most stressful things, um, that our employees kind of go through at this point is the fact that employers don't respect their job titles and they've been asked to do things outside their wheelhouse. Um, that's really frustrating. And it's one of the, one of the, one of the most stressful things that will actually like kind of break apart teams um, is when you delegate the wrong thing to the wrong person. You hand the sales calls to the systems person. You you know uh, you hand the systems to the sales uh, to the to the charismatic salesperson. Like all of a sudden, everyone's like, "I'm screwed." Um, so that's one of the one of the keys to it. But if you always think like it's it's about bricks, yeah, right, and it's about holding stuff because you still have to hold yours, they still have to hold theirs, yeah. and then we well, and there's down the there's line. a there's a process that happens. Like we're just handing books back to each other, but there. But I thought that's what it was. What I realized is there's a whole process to handing off the book, mm -hmm. right? So I think that that would be really powerful to go through. And I wish I would have known this this you know six or seven steps years ago that I think make it really effective. And you know, delegation is really it's education. It's training. It's empowerment. It's not throwing the hot potato like I used to do. So, you know, if we're going to kind of go through this, I think there's several steps that, that we've outlined. I, and I work with this with my leaders all the time because what I realize is so often they're showing up as poor leaders and it's just because they don't know how to delegate effectively or they don't know how to go through that process, right? Which so, makes them bad leaders. Which makes them bad, which <laughs> makes them bad leaders, absolutely, yeah. <laughs> oh, snap, that just happened. Yeah. Huh. So so here, here's the interesting thing, right? And we'll go through these couple steps then if you want these steps or you want to go deeper on this let us know we'll send you this we got a couple pages that outline the steps so if you want this let us know and we'll send it out to you so step one i think is introducing the task so so if i let's just go through so if i'm okay. introducing if i'm going to delegate something to you so i want to delegate to you um you know putting um putting up the information every single week for our calls Right. right. Let's just say that's what it is, right? I'm going to go, here's what I want you to do. I want you to every week, right, get this information up here, whatever, you know, get it up here. I want it to be done at this time, etc. Now, here's what I've got to do. This is the most important question you can ask. What did you hear me say? I wasn't listening. No. Um. Because cause here's the cool thing. If I go, did you hear me? They will always go, yes, I heard you, yeah. right? That doesn't mean they know or actually heard what I said. So if I go, all right, so every Tuesday, I want you to upload this. I want you to use this template. It's got to be done by this time in this order. Awesome. Hey, what did you hear me say? I heard you say that you needed to need to upload this template every Tuesday at this time with this uh, in this font, in this template, and in such and such order. Well, awesome. Now we're on the same page. Now, here's what I think is, is step two is this. Step two is, is not only understanding that they heard me, but it's also helping that here's what I think is interesting. John, you may be way more brilliant at this than I am. So what I've got to tell you is what the ultimate goal is here, not just the action, right? Because I'm empowering people. I don't want just a bunch of button pushers. So right. I'm going to go, here's why we're doing this. Here's the outcome I'm looking for. And I'm looking for is to have these people educated and to know this call's coming up what it is, right? right. It, here's the way I think. And then I would say, here's the way I think we're going to do this. And yet I want you to understand the ultimate goal I'm after because you may have a way more brilliant way to do that. Nice. Right, and, and I see that happen a lot of times. I'm not the person to teach my, my admin how to build an incredible database system. If she's the right person, she's way more brilliant at that than, right. than I'm going to be, right? Right, I think that comes back down to like delegating to the right person. Yes. You, yeah. have to have, you either have to be able to train them, yeah. or you either have to, you know, or they have to be already brilliant at yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. And part of that is, is the next step, ensuring that here's how we're going to measure and track this. Right, so maybe if a database, if I'm delegating data, is going, here's how we'll know this is working. If we're getting X amount of referrals, yeah, or or, or if we're having this many calls made or whatever, this is how we'll know this works. So I've got to figure out how. One of the biggest mistakes you make is we don't figure out how we're going to measure and track it. So we're just lobbing things off without any actual, you know, key performance indicators or whatever it is there. Right, and if, yeah, and then it, because then, then then it becomes frustrating, right? Yeah, 
because you'll you'll have the one set of expectations. They'll have a different set of expectations. They're like, I nailed it. You're like, yes. you suck. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, hey, I want you to run Facebook ads, and you're like, I'm running Facebook ads. I'm like, we haven't got a lead in six months, right? You're like, I'm I didn't running know, ads. I, I I thought we were just trying to go for views. Yes, yeah. Like, yeah. what what exactly did you want? Yeah, if I don't know <laughs> what we're gonna measure or what I'm gonna hold you able to. That's a big, actually, that's a big thing. I actually got out of that book right there, Scaling Up, talking about instead of giving job descriptions, you need to make sure you're putting in there, here are the expectations. So, so your job is marketing, blah, blah, blah. The expectation is that, that we're getting 20 leads a month from this source, right. right? That's way better than like your job is to run ads. Your, your job is, I expect this. So anyway, I think, I think that's huge. Step number four is agreeing on when we're going to come back and check on this. Like, what's the time frame? Agreed? Absolutely. And I think that's where you just talked about communication. That's huge. Because if I go, hey, will you do this? And we don't talk about the communication or, or about the time frame piece, I might be expecting it done in an hour. Yep. You might be going, hey, he just wants this done at some point. And all of a sudden, it's two weeks later, and we're both pissed off. It's well, just because we didn't have clarity. And I think the other thing that, that kind of comes into that is also um, making sure that you actually have a time to check up before the task is supposed to be done. Ah, uh, yes. Right? Because, I, I mean, I, I don't know about you, but I find that a lot of people need a mid-motivation before the deadline. Yeah. Right? It's like a little bit of a check-in, like, hey, how's things going? Yeah. What's happening? What are the results? Do we need yeah. to fix something? Um, it it kind of allows you to be able to hook up with them just a little bit, mm -hmm. right? And be like, you know what? Um, let me, let me, let me kind of help you. Let me, let me get you on along the way. Yes. Oh, I see where you're making a mistake. I don't want you to fail. So we're in this together. Let's, uh, let's actually make, let's actually make this a team effort. Yes. Well, and, and what you yeah. just said there is you're giving the expectation that I'm going to come in and probably tweak this a little bit before it's all done. And that's okay. That doesn't mean you're screwing yeah. up. That's just part of the process. Yeah. So that way, when somebody brings you back that project they've been working on, their expectation is that you're just not going to sign off on it. Their expectation is like, hey, we're gonna, I'm going to poke some holes in this. Right? Part of my job is to make sure this is working. I'm gonna, yeah. I am going to poke some holes in this. That's part of the process. That means you are doing your job. Yeah. And then we're going to take it there. And, and don't hide that behind like code words like, you know, here we strive for yes. excellence. Yeah. Um, you know, weird stuff like that. I'm going to give you a feedback sandwich. No, I'm just going to give you great feedback because that's yeah. part of the process. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, so I, I think that's a big one, right? When is it going to get done? And then making sure that that person, the next step is making sure that person has the responsibility. They have the authority. They have all the tools they need. So if I go, Hey, I'm expecting this to get done by next week. Is that yeah, it's, is, is that it's, doable? It's like saying, like, would you run the Facebook ads, but you don't give them the password, you don't give them the username, you don't give them a credit card, you don't give them the media, and, and, you're, and <laughs> it's and, like you worked for me five years ago, <laughs> which he didn't, which is good because I was a mess. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Yep. That, that's never happened before. Yeah. Well, and, and then I, I, th I think the next thing then is, is like, like you just said, here's, let me say this in, in another way. Um, I want you to imagine. This, this helped me. I want you to imagine that everything you're delegating is like a 10 step process. So let's just imagine there's 10 steps to every task you give somebody, right? Your job is to help them with step one and two, right? Here's what I want done. Here's the vision. Here's the result that I'm after, right? Here's all the tools, right? Go get yep. it. But then your job is at, after step two, you let go of it. You're going to let them take it from a two to a ten, or two to a seven or two to an eight. Then you're going to come back in, do that check in tweaking feedback part and then allow it to go to a 10, Absolutely. right? So your job is to not touch the thing between step two and seven. And if you are, you probably just hired the wrong person or you're not actually getting clear on what you want, expect them to go do. Yeah. Pretty Absolutely. cool. So I, I think there's actually one more thing to add to this whole thing. Yes. Which is when do you learn to delegate? And commonly, <laughs> um, it's kind of like this. Um, it's like if Wayne had all these books, now grab all those books, 
I feel like I should just make sure. I feel like I should just make the art. Make sure the art of getting back up is always on top. Uh, always you know, on top. Is our shameless plug here. Keep, keep, yeah. Give me, give me some more yeah. books. Let's let's get some more books in here, guys. If if you're just listening to this, I am stacking books as high as Wayne can hold in his <laughs> in his arms. For, fortunately, and keep going. There, let's, there get, are, let's get some more books. There are plenty of books in this office. Okay, there, there's tons of books. Yes, now, now right, we're now, starting okay. to get legit. All right, come on. It's ironic that customer service rules is on top at this point. So we end up having all these books, <laughs> right? And they're stacking so high. Hey, hey, look at me! Right? I'm an entrepreneur. <laughs> now, now, Wayne, would you, would you mind? Um, now, give me some. We need some more books here. Let's 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 make this real visual. Right. How many well, books this, do we this got? This game on this of Jenga thing? is not going to work. This was not part of our pre-plan, by the all way. Right, so this is. So, okay. Oh shoot! Oh, we just dropped some books. I think I just lost marketing. All right, now hang on. Now, would you just hand me one of those books off the top? Just take those five. This 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 is this whole oh, little Jenga box thing. Hopefully, none of these are signed. This is what normally happens. All the books just fell to the floor. Wayne couldn't hold them. Here's the deal. Most of us wait until the point where we can't hand someone uh. a, a book. We can't hand them the next project because we're, we have on so much. This is what's, you know, like, we're like, no, no, no I can take more. <laughs> I can, I can hold. Yes, I got, you know. I got all this. And this is this is the problem, right? It's like that, that pride kind of gets in the way. We end up way overexerting ourselves, and then there's no room. Well, dude, I don't even think rain. It's, there's no room yes, to you're, hand you're, anything you're off. You're so tapped out, right? You hire an assistant, and you don't have five minutes to train them, and you, you wonder why they suck. Boy, does that sound familiar? Yeah, sounds like the story of an entrepreneur. And here's and, and I don't think it's always <laughs> ego. I think sometimes it's because most of the guys I talk to or and gals, they think that's what they're supposed to do. Yeah. They think it's supposed to feel shitty. They think it's supposed to feel brutal. They think feel they're supposed the to, if they were real leader, they would do it all. Yeah. Which is not the case. It's, it's not, not the, the case. There's people that are way better at some of that stuff than you are. And you're robbing opportunities from other people by not being able to delegate well. Exactly. And, and, and so, so the idea is I want you to look ahead. I want you to realize like, Hey, I, I it's, it's time for me to like, you know, to stop. I'm holding way too yes. much. My arms are getting tired. I, you know, uh, here's the, here's the, let's, let's get real for a second. Um, if you have a bunch of stress in your life, if you're not getting more than seven hours of sleep a night, um, if you're haven't gone on a date with your wife in, uh, you know, or husband in, in the last, like, uh, in the last month, um, if you haven't seen your kids, guess what? You're holding too many books. Holding too many books. Way too many books. So if any of those things, these are all like warning signs, yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, and like I, I paid the price. I paid the price with my health. Yeah, absolutely. You know, well, and, um, and here's one of the things that's interesting. That. I think that I, I think a lot of times we assume delegation looks like I got to hire somebody for, for 40 hours a week, pay him salary, benefits, all this, right? which may be the case, but off, some of my delegation is like the dude that just brought us water and lunch. Yeah. Right? That was delegation, right? I go, I don't want to spend an hour and a half going to Walmart to yeah. get all the stuff we need. Well, I, I can leverage we can that out. We spend two hours doing this, or right. we can get it done now. Right. Or, or the guy that mows my lawn on Saturday yeah. so that I can be at my son's soccer game. Delegation isn't always a full time position. All right. Sometimes it's like delegating some of the really little books that you don't realize you're stacking up. Yeah. Well, and it allows you to have a better life because oftentimes, like the lawn, uh, cleaning the house, um, <laughs> eating right, um, getting the right groceries, um, these things are either done well or they're not done at all. Right. That's just that we're, we're creating less friction. We're creating a, a better life for ourselves mm -hmm. by delegating the things to do others. There's a, a really great book called Soar With Your Strengths. Mm, I love that book, yeah. I think one of the misconceptions is, and we have this as, as, as and he says it in there, one of the big misconceptions we have is we think we need to be good at everything we're not good at. Yeah. So instead of leaning in on some of our strengths, we try to be well-rounded, which is a bunch of BS. So I, I would, so I, I think, but I also think that there's a, um, a misconception in that um, people think that they don't have to be well-rounded, which is my, my thing with like leverage, right? It's where I get frustrated with people on the, on the leverage thing. They don't understand marketing and they don't understand Facebook or they don't understand uh, like, a, like a key principal part of their business. Mm -hmm. And they're like, oh, I'll just delegate it. Um, and, and what happens is they don't have any value for what's actually happening, 
right? Um, I, you know, I do video stuff all the time. Right. If p someone hasn't ever tried video for the first time, they haven't actually tried it, they have no idea how much work and how much worth is actually in it. So they don't want to pay the price, right. so they end up paying less or, or finding someone that's cheaper, which ends up causing more issues, yes. right? And yet so, I think there's different ingredients. I don't need to be good at video, but no. I need to understand it. Yes, yeah, so that's right? what I'm saying. So, like, so that's, I think you can't leverage saying, what you don't understand. I, I don't need to go get good at video because I can leverage that out. But I need to understand that when I say, hey, make this little tweet to a video, that's probably a three hour thing, right? right? Like you, I think yeah. it's like, Hey, it's just a little thing, but because I understand it, I appreciate that. Hey, it's, yeah. it's a three hour little tweak. Yeah. So, but I, but I think that also comes with an investment of knowledge yes. and understanding. Yeah. Like some people are like, Oh no, I just don't need to do it. So I'm just going to go shove it off. And what they're really doing is wimping out. Yeah. So what it really means is I need to go understand enough about this subject to realize number one, who I'm going to hire to right. fill this. Because how many times has someone uh, that didn't know what they were doing hired the wrong web developer? Twice. <laughs> no, <I'm joking. laughs> um, hired the wrong web developer, wrong market, uh, marketing person because they sounded good and they said Facebook, Instagram, right. uh, and followers. Um, and, you know, how many times have we done that because we didn't know enough about the subject matter yeah. to be able to make an educated hiring uh -huh. decision. Well, yeah. And what, I think one of the great questions you could ask someone is, hey, you know, hey, I'd love for you to build out a Facebook ad for me. I'd love for you to do this. So awesome. Would you walk me through the process you go through to do this? They, the person, sometimes the person you're leveraging can be the one that educates you, right? Yeah. If, if you have a great relationship, right? And they can help be the one that educates you in the process, but it's very hard to hold people accountable if I don't know how to inspect what I expect. So let's say I'm paying oh, you by nice. the hour yeah. and, and you bill me for 30 hours for a tweak because I don't know any better. Right, as, as opposed to I understand yeah. this enough to know that that's a two-hour thing. If it took you three, that's cool. If it took you thirty, we have a problem. Well, so I've got I, I can't inspect what I expect if I don't have the knowledge. Well, and it, so this is actually a real example. So the other day, a guy called me, and he's like, um, "I just need to put logos on the ends of my videos. I'm willing to pay pay this amount of money." And I I, I sat there and I was listening to him I'm like, "Can't you just do this yourself?" And he's like. No, like this is very complicated stuff and there's timelines and I'm like, I'm like, I'm really torn <laughs> because right now you're, uh, uh, you're, you're offering you're, me money. You're offering me money. Um, like I'm, I'm more than willing to, you know, like you're willing to offer me money on like a monthly basis to do something that's going to take five minutes and my, my, my morals won out. Um, <laughs> and I was like, look, let me show you a little app. It's on, it's on your phone Yeah, and it's going to take you five minutes per video and you're going to save yourself, yeah. you know, a lot of pain and money, you know, about 14 K a year. Um, so do you really feel like you're that important that you need to leverage that out or, uh, or is it, you know, cause that, cause that's sometimes like the case, right? Um, I feel like sometimes like we hear this all the time, right? We talk about leverage. Um, people come in, they're like, my time is worth $450 an hour, you know, and, you know, I am, I'm worth this much money. Okay. They go off and they spend the next six hours on Facebook and come back and I'm like, great. And they're like, but I, I will not do that, that, th that five minute video edit because my time is worth more than that. Yes. Ooh, let me tell you something that drives me crazy because I'm sorry, your time really wasn't worth that much to begin with. Well, and I think one of the things that, that I do a lot with realtors is if they're about to hire an admin or they're about to leverage off one of those books, right? Yeah. One of the questions I'll ask them is what are you going to replace that time with? So now you've created a void. And are you going to replace that time with hanging out with your family mm -hmm. or are you going to replace that time with more income producing activity? So often they hire somebody, they, that person takes off that job. It was an eight hour week job or whatever it is. And they end up just allowing that time to get filled in with just it's crap, jumped. right? So you got to, if you're going to create a void in your life, you got to fill it. And I'm either going to fill it with spending time with my kids or I'm going to fill it doing more of the right stuff that I should be doing. So yeah. getting clear, right? So I, I think if we're going to break all this down. It, effective delegation means I'm giving the right thing to the right people. Yep. It means I'm 
and doing it in a process and not a haphazard way, right? I'm following these seven steps. And if you want them, reach out to us. We'll, we'll give you this list. Um, I'm following these seven steps and I'm inspecting what I expect. Yeah, that's it. Powerful stuff. Guys, just go do that right now. Everything that we just said, you can get done yep. today. Yeah. This afternoon. Start. Actually, let me give you one more thing. Uh, Ooh, I love this. One more thing. Start writing down a do not do list. Mm. Start making a little list of things you don't want to do. Maybe you can't get rid of them today, but I was I, years ago I started a do not do list, and I go, you know what? I don't want to deliver flyers anymore. You know what? I don't want to pick up my groceries anymore. Yeah. I don't want to mow my lawn. I don't want to have to fill out MLS sheets, whatever it is, right? And I just started that do not do list, and then all of a sudden when you start looking at that do not do list, you go, man, these 10 things added up is a job. And if I could get rid of these 10 things, right, then what can I do with my time? So for, for fun, as, as a great activity, start a do not do list. Yeah. And, and start creating opportunities for other people. That's what it's about. Absolutely. And utilize all your time effectively. Hold Boom. And all of a sudden, you're your books. own hero. Guys, thank you so much. We will see you next week. Let us know what, you, what your thoughts are down below. Um, hit us up with some comments. Head over to the Hero Nation. Uh, check us out. Uh, uh, look at the fuel. We got we got fuel. We got a bunch of like uh, awesome blogs. Take a look at, uh, at, at, uh, at some of these other videos that we got. I mean, we got some really good ones. How to fire people. We have videos on... Um, uh, oh gosh, we have, a, we have a ton of videos. Systems so, building the whole nine. Join yeah, the conversation. Yeah, so um, like, share, subscribe. Don't forget to share or I'll punch you in the throat. He'll find you. My throat's actually sore because I forgot to share a video. All right. We love you, my friends. Be your own hero. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>